My sister-in-law tore off my ear because she didn't like my earrings and refused to pay for my surgery. Now I'm suing her for $50,000. Even when I was younger, I tried to convince my brother to find a saner woman to marry, but he didn't listen. As a result, my sister-in-law has always had a vendetta against me. Despite my warnings, he was blinded by love and ignored my concerns. This marked the beginning of my sister-in-law's endless vendetta towards me. She always detested me and never made an effort to hide it. Every family gathering, every celebration, turned into an opportunity for her to launch her venom arrows at me. Her comments were derogatory and hurtful, always looking for a way to humiliate me in front of others. She insulted me for my clothing, my makeup, and even insinuated that I despised my own family. Although she accused me of being ungrateful and taking advantage of my parents and brother, I always kept calm, thanks to my husband's intervention, who became my shield against her attacks. However, everything changed during the celebration of my brother's birthday. Despite the tense relationship with my sister-in-law, I decided I decided to invite them to my house to celebrate. It was a special moment, and I wanted to make an effort for my brother. My sister-in-law arrived excessively dressed up, as if she were going to a high society event, but I decided not to comment on it. I was excited to show off my culinary skills and wanted the night to go smoothly. With my husband and brother busy watching a soccer game, I was left alone with my sister-in-law, who unexpectedly began to behave kindly. She even praised my decision to organize the party, but her change in attitude was short-lived. Soon, she started to criticize my earrings, saying they didn't match my casual blue dress. Despite my attempts to change the subject, she insisted that I take off the earrings. Then, without warning, she lunged at me and tore off my ear with a tug. The pain was unbearable. I screamed, and my husband came to my aid, immediately taking me to the hospital. The injury was severe, but fortunately, the doctor assured that surgery could fix it. However, throughout this time, neither my sister-in-law nor my brother showed concern for my condition or offered to help with the medical expenses. That's when I decided enough was enough. My sister-in-law had not only caused me irreparable physical harm, but she also tried to manipulate the story, presenting herself as the victim to my brother. With my husband's support, we initiated a lawsuit for $50,000, not only for the physical damages, but also for the emotional pain and suffering she had caused. Her response was to deny everything and hire a lawyer, but I had an ace up my sleeve. The recordings from the security cameras in my house that had captured the entire scene. Determined to increase the lawsuit, I added charges for pain, suffering, and betrayal. The lawsuit turned into an intense legal battle where every action of my sister-in-law was meticulously countered. I was determined to make her pay for her actions and her lack of remorse. My lawyer and I planned an impeccable legal strategy, using the security recordings as our main evidence. The lawsuit sought not only financial compensation, but also justice for the years of abuse and the act of violence I had endured. As the legal battle intensified, my sister-in-law desperately tried to discredit my story. She invented a series of lies, trying to paint herself as the victim of an alleged plot on my part. However, the security recordings were irrefutable. They clearly showed her aggression, exposing her lies and her true character. The judicial process was exhausting and emotionally draining. There were moments when I thought about giving up, but the unconditional support support of my husband and the certainty that I was doing the right thing kept me firm. Finally, the day of the trial arrived. My sister-in-law, faced with the overwhelming evidence, broke down. Her facade of innocence faded and the reality of her actions hit her with full force. The judge ruled in my favor, awarding me not only the financial compensation I had demanded, but also a sentence that set a precedent for the severity of her acts. My sister-in-law was not only ordered to pay the $50,000, but also to face the legal consequences of her assault. This victory meant more than just financial compensation. It was a vindication of years of suffering and a lesson to my sister-in-law about the consequences of her actions. The family, once divided by her intrigues, now saw the truth. My brother, initially deceived, finally understood the true nature of his wife. The incident and the trial were a turning point in our lives. I learned the importance of standing up to injustice and defending myself. Although the relationship with my brother was strained, there was hope for reconciliation and understanding in the future. For my part, I felt relieved of a burden I had carried for years, and with the support of my husband and the rest of my family, I was ready to close this painful chapter and move towards a more peaceful and happy future.